Hey, hello everyone. I'm back. This is Lisa from Maryland. I'm back. I told you I would come back after I've read the book of Esther. I want to talk a little bit about Purim. Um, this is a holiday that's given by the Jews. And this holiday is due to the book of Esther of the Jews um, being saved through Esther in the Bible um, from the plan that Haman had to kill them. So let's pray before we start, everyone. This shouldn't be too long. Okay, just want to give you a little substance of the Jewish holiday called Purim or Feast of Lights. In other words, Heavenly Father, I thank you, Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Yeshua, Yahweh, save, heals, and deliverance. Father God, may you give us wisdom, knowledge, and revelation, Father, to follow your word, Lord. Lord Jesus, follow the truth, Father. Lord Jesus, just give us insight and revelation to your will, let your will be done. In this video, may you cover us with the blood, sender, and receives in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Father, for your glory. Okay, everyone, I am on a site. And the name of the site is ToriAvey.com. Okay, and this site is going to tell us about the holiday called Purim because of the book of Esther. Okay, it says Purim, P-U-R-I-M. Which literally means lots and is sometimes known as the Feast of Lots. Okay. It's a Jewish holiday. Jews. Just a second, you all. Sorry for this small little interruption. Okay, it says that. It's Jewish holiday in which Jews commemorate being saved from persecution in the ancient Persian Empire. This is in the book of Esther. According to the book of Esther in the Torah, the Jewish people of the city of Shushan were threatened by the villain Haman, an evil villain Haman, a prime minister who convinces the king of Hazarus to kill all the Jews because the Jewish Mordecai refused to bow down to Haman. Haman cast lots, hence the name of the holiday, to determine the date he would carry out his plan, the 13th of Adar. In the end, the Jews are saved by the heroic Queen Esther, Mordecai's niece, and adopted daughter, who married Ahasuerus after he banished his fist, his first of rebellious wife, Ashtai. Because Vashti was very rebellious, so he chose Esther in her place. When Azahaz discovers that his wife Esther is Jewish, he decides to reverse Haman's decree. And instead of the Jews being killed, Haman, his son, and other enemies are killed instead. Now how was Purim celebrated? Purim is the most raucous holiday on the Jewish holiday, uh, calendar. And occurs on the 14th day of the month of Adar. Observance of the holiday begins with dressing up in costume. Some people choose to dress as characters from the Purim story. And others dress in non-Purim related costumes. It is a mitzvah commandment to listen to the story of Purim chanted from Mila, Mila, uh, Esther, the scroll of Esther. And to her every word. It is customary to make loud noise with a noise maker called a Roshan in Hebrew or Gregor in Yiddish. <coughs> Excuse me. Every time Haman's name is mentioned in order to fulfill the obligation of blotting out Haman's name, part of the holiday also includes giving gifts or charity to the poor called Mantanat Avanum. A fun tradition on the holiday is to perform a Purim spill, a satirical show, either dramatizing the Purim story in a humorous way or just a funny skit on that theme. The Mishalom Mano, sending of portions, are gifts of food, treats, and goodies the Jewish community sent to friends and families on Purim. It is traditional to have a jovial feast or Sudat Purim, 
In the evening of a holiday, drinking alcohol is part of the Purim holiday celebration. In fact, the requirement in the Talmud goes so far as to instruct that one should get so drunk that they can't tell the difference between the Pharisees, Ahar Haman, cursed is Haman, and Baruch Mordecai, blessed is Mordecai. Traditional foods include Osme Haman or Asmashi, ears of Haman. A triangular cookie, usually filled with different flavors of jam or poppy seed, fully known as mong, which is supposed to represent either Haman's ears or his three cornered hat. Another triangular shaped food that is customary to eat are crepelac. Small dumplings, usually filled with meat, mashed potatoes, I love mashed potatoes, or other fillings. Other traditional foods or dishes made with beans, a reminder of what Esther ate in the king's palace in order to avoid eating non-kosher foods. Because of this Esther uh, legume tradition, Purim is often celebrated with a vegetarian meal. Okay. So the Purim is said is celebrated with a vegetarian meal. And like one recipe says, on um, Bad's vegetarian chopped liver. It's a Jewish family recipe. Recipe um, make delicious vegetarian chopped liver from a Jewish family recipe. Meat free and full of flavor using only whole food ingredients. So this is um, form. I'm sorry, form or the feast of lots. And this is what the Jews celebrate. In February or March. Did you know that the Jewish calendar has leap years? This ancient calendar follows a 19 year cycle. There are seven leap years within each cycle, each of which contains one extra month occurring in February and March. During Jewish leap years, the two months are known as Adar. The extra leap month and Adar 2 Purim is celebrated during Adar 2 and during Adar 1. And many holiday is celebrated known as Purim Katan, small Purim. Purim occurs, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Purim occurs on the following dates. Jewish year 5, 7, 80, sunset March 9, 2020, nightfall March 10, 2020. Jewish year 5, 7, 81, sunset February 25, 5, 2021, nightfall February 26, 2021. Jewish year 5, 7, 82, sunset March 16, 2022, nightfall March 17, 2022. Jewish year 5783, sunset March 6, 2023, nightfall March 7th, 2023. And there's some more, you all. It goes the, all the way up to Jewish year 5790. But this is a little gist of what Purim is about. If you hear about the Jewish Purim holiday, this is what this is a reference to. This is a reference to um, the Jews celebrating that they were not killed or annihilated by the evil villain Haman in the book of Esther, you all. So may you all go in peace. Read the book of Esther. You all. It's a great book to read. Queen Nasta was the favorite of the king Ahasuerus of his harem. She was the Jewish woman of other Persian women. And she gained favor to save her people, herself and her people, through the king, her husband. So you all, it's a great story, you all. May you all be blessed and have an awesome day, you all. Bye-bye.